Hi friends, what's on my mind today? Well, one of the things on my mind today is this. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Notice anything missing? For years, I've sat there at my purple desk making videos with the crocodile on the wall in the background and the desk is gone because that wall is getting torn out big new double doors out to the project we're working on. And where did the desk go? Well, Morning, Lynn. Good morning, Jerry. How's your day going? Um, it's going. Good. We have a pile of things over here. That's a ceiling fan and a new faucet for a new sink and a two-gallon hot water heater. I bought that from Verver. Um, it's the same company I did the review of uh, a camping tent. They got some good deals, and they're shipped to Mexico, which is even better. So, um, there's my desk. We put it in the tower, and we had to seal up the windows way up there, because I used to keep them open for ventilation, and also to let the birds out when they get in there. Uh, so far, we've only had three birds that we had to chase out. There's another window. It's over here on this side, way up there. I say way up there. That's actually, uh, I think it's 21 feet. That little window right there, it opens and you can go up on the roof and open it up to let the birds out because once they get up there in the tower, they never figure it out. Um, what's going to be in today's video? Well, I went up to Sergio's house, uh, which we've been up there a couple of times in the last year, uh, up on the hill above Ahihik, big house he's building, like eight bedrooms or something. Uh, I went back up there last week, and he's made some progress. We'll check on that, but let's check on my progress here on my outdoor kitchen. Juan's hard at work and we've made some progress. What is this? Buenos dias. Como esta? Bien, usted? Todo bien? Si. I have not figured out if he's just good at concrete or if he's actually an artist. I never cease to be amazed at how good he is at this. We built that wall out of blocks, you know, like little concrete blocks. He's finishing it off. It's still very rough here, if you feel it, but uh, he uses a thin thing that scrapes all the rough off before we primer it. Right now he's got a wooden form here that it's making the top with. So that's the outside of where the new doors will be. The whole inspiration for this, I think I might have said it before, is I bought a new kitchen stove and figured out in the directions for the new kitchen stove how to fix the burner that didn't work on the old kitchen stove. So, <laughs> well... Why don't I just make an outdoor kitchen? We had an old outdoor kitchen. This uh, bench here is part of what it was. So sink there, um, stove where Juan is. Little counter space here. I'm gonna put some uh, drawers in there for things. I have an outdoor fridge, or, I mean a little apartment bar sized fridge. I'll just sit it on the floor there. Water heater is going to be underneath there. It's all coming along, except I've been all over Hokotepec, 
Ahihik and Chipala looking for tile for the top here. And uh, so far I haven't found it. I may wind up just doing Talavera tile. I was looking for something uh, dark green and apparently here in Mexico it's a foreign concept. Update from a day ago when I hadn't found any tile, I did decide to go with Talavera tile. Got some accent tiles, just trying to figure out what kind of a pattern I want to use. So that's the progress there. Then I got these for the edge. It was on there like that. They call this Pecho de Paloma, the breast of the dove. Well, it is the middle of July here, and it's an overcast day. Nice and cool, but uh, it's a welcome thing after the hot months of uh, mostly April, May, and half of June here on the north shore of Lake Chapala. So we welcome this kind of a day for this time of the year. The lake is still low. It's rained a little, but it hasn't come up much. Generally, the level of the lake uh, coming up has to do with water coming into the lake, not coming from the sky from several states away. I don't know if you can see this, but the party boat is out there. Uh, it's right out there. That over there, again, I don't think you can see this in the, that's Scorpion Island. And if I back up just a little bit, the land mass over here, that would be Riveras de Pilar. Beautiful day. I'm looking forward to getting it all finished construction-wise and starting to decorate it. Well, let me show you the progress up on the hill on Sergio's place. Sergio's project is taking him a lot longer than he originally anticipated. This is a, uh, a little over two years into it. He bought a house that sat right there where all of the new construction, the white part, is. But it turned out the 30 or 40 year old construction didn't have any vertical support in the brick walls and they just tore it all down and started over from scratch. Such a big house, I think eight bedrooms, he's going to have plenty of room for friends and family in the top part where he lives and the bottom part will be a rental. The garage area here is all tiled, that's progress. Got a lot of tile left to do, but um, steps there. This is the lower level, which is going to be a rental. Sergio's gonna live upstairs. The underground water reservoir, uh, Alhibe, got a fountain put in. Why such a big project? Well, I think part of the reasoning is that the view warrants the expense of the investment. He's busy with some of the workers right at the moment, but uh, Sergio will join us momentarily. What a nice place to hang with the overhang there, shaded. It'll be sunnier in the winter time when the sun just goes across the mountains there. And open concept in here. That'll be a bedroom with a huge walk-through closet to a bathroom. Not tiled in here yet, but, uh, oh, there's a bird <laughs> moving in. Hello, birdie. Okay, do your thing. Well, here's a Mexican construction technique I'm not sure I've ever fully understood, but I've seen it a lot, including at my house. They build the wall, they finish it very nicely, and then they chip a channel in there for the electricity. Same way in the floor. Laid the uh, 
concrete in there and then made the groove for the electrical. All of this is after the fact that the concrete is poured. <laughs> electrical for, I think this is gonna be a kitchen island. But again, they poured the concrete and then afterwards they hammered and chiseled out the for the electrical line. I'm not saying that's bad, just different. So this will be a open living room kitchen concept. And uh, I'm guessing this will be a pantry. A bathroom laundry room. Sorry about the echo. Where's the bird? Another bedroom with the, again, a walk through closet into the bathroom. Let's see this bird. I think it's a, a brown creeper, they're called. It's okay, little birdie. Oh, you'll find your way out eventually. I think he did. Good. So this is the, oh, there he is again. This is the lower level. And then um, also has access to another garage, enclosed garage parking area. Uh, whoops, another bedroom with a bath. I made a wrong turn. Here we go. Ah, it's tiled in here already. This is up to, Nice security door. This will be a garage. And uh, out here, his long driveway up a steep hill. But uh, all good. So that's the lower level that's going to be a rental. Sergio's going to live up there. What a house. So I guess this is uh, Sergio's main entrance. I think it'll be more finished up here. Oh wow, look at this tile. Built-in carpets. I like the tiles picked. Oh, the breeze is amazing, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah. Wow. What a difference from a couple of days ago. This is really weird. Yeah. You weren't here last night. No. The, the wind last night was really strong. Really? Yeah. Um, yeah, really Did they strong. take the tree down over, down, over, coming up? There's a big old tree that the wind got blew, down. The wind blew no, it down. Mean, yeah, blew it down, huh? Yeah. In, in, uh, last night or was it a different one? No, it was about a week ago, last night. Incredible. Well, how do you feel about the progress here after two years? Uh, I wish we were uh, more advanced, but what can we do? I'm hoping we can get it done, God willing, by uh, January. See, your calm attitude about this yeah. means you're going to be very comfortable here in Mexico. I sure hope so. <laughs> yeah, I want to uh, concentrate on finishing the bottom. Yeah. I'm hoping I can find some good runners. Mm -hmm. They're going to end up with a beautiful, I mean, I yes, they are. home. Yes, they are. Uh, so I guess got to find the right person that's interested in renting the bottom portion. Mm -hmm. But the kitchen will be the last thing I install in this house. Iglesia Central. Gonna be a tub out here. Jacuzzi tub. Sit in the bubbles and look at the lake. So you do. And they have you wash this with acid? Yeah, we're gonna have to wash that. Yeah, beautiful ceiling. Start on this side, you know, here. 
With the moisture you need to, yeah, it's good. Uh, well, salitre doesn't come from that. It comes from waking up from the bottom. You probably won't get salitre up here on this level, right. only down below. Right. Because it, it leaches groundwater into the cowl and the cement. It's the same formula as uh, magic rocks when you were a kid, you put them in a fishbowl. Same process, chemically. So a laundry did see, there? Did you see the bathroom up above? No, I haven't been upstairs. Yeah, the water uh, on mine right now, I think they need like a tankless water heater for all the fans, mm -hmm. five air conditioners. Um, oh, there you go. The uh, uh, toilets. Yeah. Um, uh, as much as I can pick up and have it, the water house over here at the warehouse. So, this going to be the workout room? It is. <laughs> I, I, I think you're underestimating my workout room. You see, you can be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> this, uh, see, I'm going to go in the bathroom and I'm going to watch it. Seahorse. See, uh, Yo, oh, wow. Oh, I like that. Ain't that cool? Yeah. I thought you were going to have a couple of here. Oh, I'm going to have a couple of nice questions. <laughs> The what? The seahorse is Oh, the seahorse, yeah. Oh, I like that tile. Wow. That's beautiful. That is really beautiful. I really like that blue. They have the shower heads already. Mm -hmm. Then you get the bottom parts. And then they say within the next couple of weeks, they're going to finish both the bathrooms. Oh, the bottom room also. Before we go to the next phase. Oh. And we were going to roof from here. Basically, we're going to stick to the same idea. Yeah. This will be all roofed here. The tanaco is going to go here, one above. Yeah. One thing we go here is we're going to build a rack. So we can put the tanaco here. Uh huh. Both the propane tanks here. Ah, good. Get them out of the way. Yeah, you don't want them in the middle of a party. And I don't want to see them. So I'm them we need to build like a metal. It doesn't have to be, you know, just something where you right. don't see them. Yeah. Doors so we can have access to them. And uh, one more level, hey? Yeah, that's going to be my workshop. So starting from there on the right, this has to be railed. Wait, wait. wait. Somebody pulls over. This is going to be workshop? This is going to be my workshop. Okay. Uh, so you're talking about enclosing it and yep. building it. What kind of working workshop in your workshop? Woodworking? In my workshop, I'm, at, you won't, I'm pretty handy with my hands. Okay. Remember the lamps you saw? Yes, I yes, yes. some of those lamps already. Well, you gave me one with I, the sewing machine. Yeah. yeah. But I've made uh, mailboxes, uh, cocapellis. You know the cocapellis? Yeah, see? From uh, Arizona. Yeah. With the little... So I made one with big feet. Yeah. Holding a mailbox, yeah. it would rock in the wind. It was the oh, nicest okay. thing you ever seen. So I made several of these. I made cowboys holding okay. mailboxes. And stuff. Okay, so the reason I ask yeah. is because I was picturing you. I do woodworking and stuff. I was picturing you carrying four by fours <laughs> up all those stairs. I'm pretty good at woodworking too. But I've got, you know, that's a whole different animal. I got to get different machines. Right. And I got. Plasma cutters, welders. Really? Wow. So, chop saws and stuff like that. If I were to do that, then I would have to get a table saw. And yeah. Stuff like that. Wow. That yeah, was pretty high up. Yeah, every yeah. time I come here and I look down, I realize how deep the house is. Yeah. I don't realize that when you're down there looking up, so you're actually looking down because this fall will kill you. Yes. 
It certainly would. Or my phone if I dropped it. <laughs> yeah, well, no problem checking out what uh, Rico's doing. Rico's house is another construction project just below Sergio's. We were up there checking it out a couple years ago. We're going to take another look at it soon. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.